Okay, so what's the point of being positive, right? Uh, isn't it more realistic to be negative? Isn't it more realistic to appreciate that the world is falling apart and people are full of crap and are hypocritical and liars and thieves and you really just pretty much can't trust anybody, even your own family sometimes, that everybody's out in a way to uh, just get what they want and they really don't care what you need or want, that there's very little fairness, that people don't respect boundaries. How in the world should you, why should you be happy? Why should you be positive? Why should you be hopeful? Okay, the reason is, because regardless of how terrible uh, the world has become and how uncivil and awful we have become to each other, how judgmental and rude and nasty and angry and how full of resentment and bitterness, uh, how we push people away, uh, despite all of that, you know, being negative uh, only makes things worse, only puts that dark cloud over your head, into your head. Uh, pervades your body, pervades your consciousness, makes you sick on multiple levels, and doesn't get you where you really want to go. Where do you want to go? Happiness, inner peace, joy, health, positive relationships, sustainable relationships, uh, wealth. Uh, how do you get all this stuff? By being po the more positive you are, uh, whether it's raining out or, or so the sun is shining, the more positive you are, the more likely you are to have positive outcomes. It's as simple as that. So when people tell you, no, well, you're being unrealistic, you're being Pollyanna to be positive, to try to make le le lemonade out of lemons, no, you're actually being practical, you're being smart, you're being wise. Regardless of how terrible everything seems to be, with a positive attitude and a positive perspective and a hopeful perspective and always trying to look for blessings in disguise and always trying to look for silver linings and always trying to uh, turn uh, obstacles into stepping stones to success, by staying positive and hopeful, you are keeping the conduits open, you are keeping... You know, the, the consciousness, uh, the flow of the collective unconscious, the flow of intuitive creative energy. You are using the law of attraction to make things work for you rather than against you, to attract, to attract people, places, and circumstances that will synergize with your goals and your dreams. Whatever you want to do or achieve or be. Uh, you know, the best way is to be happy. The best way is to be here now, to be in the moment, to embrace the moment, to seize the day, to be authentic. But ultimately, it's all about being positive. You've got a choice, okay? You can be positive or negative. It's your perspective. If your perspective is negative and the glass is half empty, you're going to be more miserable. If your per perspective is positive and the glass is half full, you're more likely uh, to be happier more of the time than not. This stuff works if you work it. Okay, Happy New Year. Uh, peace be with you. Remember my motto, if you're not confused, you're just not thinking clearly. Okay, see you next time.